Hello, veteran 0121 here. Welcome back, and we are let's playing Final Fantasy IX. And in the last episode, we uh, we uh, got to the Crystal World, but I decided to backtrack because uh, we're gonna take on a final boss that I bypassed earlier. Uh, these are my ability setups for Amaranth, having the double double killer power up in case I want to use Chakra on somebody. Uh, body temp, antibody, status protection all around, and return magic, because that'll be nice. And for Rusty, I have him with auto haste, accuracy, plus bird killer, double, double killer, because this next boss is a flying and demon type enemy. I have him equipped with the, uh, crap, with something wrong. Uh, I have him equipped with the, uh, the Excalibur 2. Uh, yeah, fucking MP attack, I guess. That way he should be dealing max damage. Zidane with uh, his typical stuff, auto haste, status protection all around with body temp, and uh, and uh, that's it basically. Master Thief, Man Eater, I don't need that shit. I don't need Man Eater, accuracy plus I guess, just so his physical attacks hit a little bit more. Uh, uh, that doesn't matter. And then for Kina, what do I have on Kina? Ooh, I need body temp on Kino. What am I doing? I don't need add status. But I do need body temp. Make sure you have body temp for this next battle. Uh, because this next boss likes to use mustard bomb and freeze on your characters. And, uh, that's pretty much it. And as far as the equipment, I have them equipped with equipment that absorbs shadow elemental damage. Like the pumice piece and the ninja gear. And the Demon's Mail, and then, yeah, Sedan I have him equipped with the, uh, Pumice Piece. He loses the, uh, plus four to Spirit that the Rebirth Ring gives, uh, but, whatever. Should be fine. I don't really care to steal any items from this boss anyways. Anyways, yeah, you want to come over here to this area that's kind of tucked behind this, uh, reef or whatever it is? I think. What the hell? Okay, let me try this again. Okay, yeah, that was, uh... Yeah, let's just leave. Let's talk to him again. Who dares disturb my sleep? Leave at once or you will die. So we can either leave or don't leave. Let's don't leave. Prepare to die. And yeah, we hear the Festival of the Hunt theme again, huh? That's pretty neat. It's the second and final time we'll hear it. But yeah, this boss is Hades. This guy absorbs shadow elemental damage. But he also likes to use it on you. What? You've defeated Ozma? I've come too far to retreat. <laughs> well, he's scared of us, but he's gonna fight us, so... Let's... Ow! Holy crap! It's not fair. Wake up, Rusty. And I'm basically just gonna use physical attacks and frog drop against this guy. Oh yeah, maybe I should try and steal, although I don't think it really matters. Yeah, this boss has about 55,000 HP. So, yeah, his, his HP isn't much. Yeah, I didn't think Freeze would work on him. Yeah, quadruple nines, I like it. Yeah, you can steal a, refle a reflect ring, battle boots, uh, a robe of lords, and what other one other useless item that I can't remember, so... Yeah, it's not even worth freaking uh, stealing from this guy. Although I am doing it. Okay, running shoes was the other weapon. Or item, not weapon. Are you dead yet? Did I kill you already? Yes, I did, didn't I? Wow, you were easy. Yeah, he can use Doomsday on you if you don't kill him fast enough, which if you have shadow absorbing equipment, 
that's all you need. And you can win like a wing edge or an elixir from him. But yeah, compared to Ozma, that guy's a joke. Bring two pumice pieces here and I will synthesize them for you. The end product is something only I can create. Good of you to return. And yeah, this is the final secret synthesis shop. We can we can make a number of different things. Now if we uh, use the hammer and an ore, we can make tin armor, which I think is the strongest armor in the game for Rusty, as far as defense is concerned. However, I don't care to do that because uh, if you have the hammer in your inventory, it adds to the ending of the game. So yeah, I don't really care. You can synthesize uh, Protect Ring here with a Dark Matter Rebirth Ring. And then ultimately you can synthesize a pumice with two pumice pieces. I don't need to do that because I've already won a pumice from Ozma, so yeah, I don't care. And then, oh yeah, with the hammer and pumice you can downgrade to a pumice piece? I don't know why you would do that. Alright, yeah, and with the javelin and silver gloves you can get the Save the Queen Sword, which I'm actually going to get. Because it's uh, Beatrix's weapon. Um, I ha she has it equipped, obviously, right now, um, if I were to put her in my party. Uh, that's her default unchangeable weapon, but yeah, you can, I think maybe if you get this item, or this weapon, you get, like, extra something with the ending, I'm not even sure, but yeah, you can synthesize, uh, Phoenix Pinions here, so if you want to power up, uh, the Phoenix Summon all the way, you can synthesize those, which is nice, you can synthesize Ethers if you would like to, I, I don't really care, to be quite honest, and you can do all those jewels for, uh, Garnet summons and Ico summons if you care, but yeah, pretty much all these items I don't really give a crap about. I'm not, yeah, I want the, the extra ending or extra part of the ending, so I'm not going to be making tin armor, but uh, yeah, this is the final synthesis shot, and apparently I can make two more to save the queens, yeah, big deal, I don't even care. But there you go, that's the final synthesis shop in the game. I'm going to meet you back in the crystal world, and we'll continue exploring from there. Alright, back in the crystal world. This place is awesome, man. Look at this place. Hear the eerie music in the background, man. It's just great. Love this place. And we can run into some new enemies, too, which is also a good thing. I don't think they're anything too difficult, either. It's a crystal... marble? Whoa, what's going on? What happened? What's going on with my game? Holy shit. Uh, something's not right. Alright, well anyways, let's try this again. My game just screwed up. It glitched out on a battle. Let's see if it does it again. If it does it again, I have an issue. Right, we have a different enemy this time, and it's not glitching out. Okay, good. I don't know why the hell it happened last time. I, that, was, that was fucked up. Didn't make any sense. But you know what? That's what happens sometimes when you use emulators. But it's totally worth it to use emulators because the quality is so much better than trying to record off your PlayStation 1. You know, pre-HDMI pre consoles, if you can hook it up via emulator and record that way. That's the way to go in my opinion. Unless it's the Wii. In which case, uh, you're better off just recording it from a capture card. This guy again, come on. one hell of a place, huh? It's kind of hard to navigate through these pre-rendered backgrounds. It's not too bad, though. Alright, at this point right here is kind of like a point of no return. Because uh, you can teleport to the beginning of the dungeon. 
Uh, I'm going to go ahead and save my game here and teleport out of here because there's one last enemy I want to show off on the Vile Island. So I'll go ahead and meet you there. Oh yeah, in case you're wondering how you leave the dungeon, basically uh, when you teleport from that other crystal, it'll teleport you back to this point right here and then there's a question mark bubble and you just select return to the invincible and that's how you get out of here and then you can choose your party members, which, uh, yeah, I'm not really sure who exactly I'm going to go with for this battle, or this last enemy I'm going to show off, but I'm going to go with this party, I guess, for now. And, uh, I gotta adjust my setups, because these guys are a bitch, and I'll be right back. Alright, on the Vile Island. If you can't find the Vile Island, it's really easy to find. It's the centermost island in the world for the most part. It's in between everything. It's right here, on this little spot right here where I'm at, where the finger is pointing. So you should be able to find it no problem. But anyways, I'm gonna... It doesn't matter where you wander around, the forest or the, or the, uh, the canyon areas, it doesn't really matter. This guy will appear, and he will be a pain in your rear. And yes, this is the Yan. This is the more aggressive version of the uh, the friendly Yan that we fought earlier. He likes to use virus powder, which makes it so you can't earn experience at the end of battle, which is bullshit. I'm gonna cast Doomsday on these fuckers. And yeah, they like to use Comet. I have return magic on Vivi. Probably won't do a whole hell of a lot, but whatever. Yeah, I probably won't even hit him. Yeah, these guys are a bitch, I'm not gonna lie. But I am gonna show off Doomsday, even though, well, actually, you know what? I already did show off Doomsday in the Ozma fight. Whatever, I'm showing it off again. Oh yeah, that's right, they like to use Snort, which is freaking bullcrap! And now they're trying to use Float on- I can't remember why they're trying to use Float on us. I really don't. But yeah, it's totally not worth fighting these guys to try and gain levels, because it takes forever to freaking kill them. And they're a pain in the ass. I mean, honestly, who the hell wants to fight these guys? And then they do this. It seems like they always attack. I think virus powders are counterattack, to be quite honest. Well, I could be wrong. Come on. You know what, I don't even care if I win this battle. What? Are you serious? That was the best you could do? Do these guys have holy damage? Well, we got one of them. Come on! Oh, and then of course I get lucky with that shit. Come on! No, don't miss! What the fuck is wrong with you? I don't have patience for this enemy. I really don't. I don't care if I lose. I really don't. I don't care. I believe you can cast death on these guys. They are susceptible to it. You can try instant death attacks. In fact, that's probably the way to go. I 
I killed one of these guys. I mean, I showed you they can be killed. But is it fun fighting these guys? No, it's a fucking pain in the ass. Who in the right mind would want to fight these assholes? Yeah, see? What the fuck? I don't care. Oh no, game over. It's so horrible. I, I feel such like such a failure as an LP here. Because I couldn't beat the yawns. Oh no! You know what? I beat two out of three. And I wasn't even trying. And I don't even care. Because you know what? I'm at the end of the game. And I'm just going to show off the end of the game. In the next episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy IX. This is Veteran 0121. It might be kind of a long episode. If it if it's too long, I'll split it up into parts. But either way, this is Veteran 0121. I'd like to thank you guys for watching. And I'll... See you next time.